Good morning. Feeling uh, a little sore, actually. I don't know. Maybe I I, uh, I had a weird, bit of a weird sleep last night. Um, the uh, dog and I kept waking up to the sounds of a mountain lion crying outside the van. And Champ was like pretty scared. He's whimpering a little bit. Had that, the mountain lion was making all kinds of calls, and it was just like 20 feet from the van. Like at first, I could just hear the calls. But then as it got closer, I could hear the calls and then like the weird whimpering noises it would make in between calls. It was really surreal. A good reminder that um, we're definitely in some pretty wild animal country. And you should be careful, pupper. And keep an eye on him. Don't let him wander. It's mostly a risk, I think, early in the morning or late at night. During the day, most animals are pretty tame. I'm not so worried about hikes or anything. I'm just worried about like when I make up camp. Speaking of, this campsite is rad and I am really happy to be here. However, it is cold and I've got to head into town and do some work today somewhere. And I'm still running like, I'm running right now like two or three days early. So I don't actually know what I'm going to do <laughs> um, for the time being until my friend arrives in Salt Lake City because I'm only like, a five hour drive away or something or a four hour drive away and and I don't really have anything planned between here and there I have a few things planned, but we'll just have to wing it and uh, Figure it out as we go because I'm pretty sure I'll get Something on the road, you know Most of the good stuff I get is not planned anyway, so let's just hit the road and see what happens Hey buddy having a bit of a delayed breakfast this morning, doing some uh, breakfast burritos with potatoes, orange peppers, some asparagus, tossed in some egg and some um, chorizo sausage. And then on the actual wrap itself, I just tossed in some uh, baby spinach and some tomatoes and a little bit of Louisiana hot sauce. The fresh veggies and, and stuff that really make living in a van a lot nicer stocking fresh veggies and it's not expensive if you're especially if you're one or two people in a van you only want small quantities anyways and most grocery stores have the you know pick and bag what you want kind of section and it's cheap 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 cheap
that was a long day of driving. But we are finally here at the Spiral Jetty. This is a art project made in the 1970s by a Robert Smithson. And uh, it was a long time before anyone actually noticed it. And he died only a few years after uh, he created it. So basically, this piece of art has kind of existed here on its own. Which is kind of an interesting thing. Not a lot of art does that. So this piece only emerges during a drought. Normally, it is submerged in the lake, the Great Salt Lake, where I'm parked at tonight. And uh, you don't normally see it. But since we're in a drought right now, or at least the tail end of a drought, we'll see. Um, we, you can actually see the spiral jetty right now, and that's what I'm here to go check out. Made out of rocks and dirt and stuff around here, um, the jetty is actually 1,500 feet wide. So uh, to see it, you really have to take to the air. <laughs> Since the artist died so soon after he created this piece of artwork, not much is actually known about the purpose or the meaning and then the meaning as it changed over the years, you know, like with the prominence of global warming and the prominence of all these other environmental issues we now are so aware of, what does this mean, this piece of artwork in that context? And that's why I love about this piece right here because it's just so separate, so uniformly artistic in the nature that like you have to make up your own mind about it you have to make up your own opinions about it you can write about it you can theorize about it and and no answer is right and no answer is wrong it's just pure art on its own i like that a lot sad that they had to die for that to be the case but i like that
supper, we're having a chicken Alfredo slash rosé with uh, curly noodles, some spinach, some uh, green peppers, mm. tomatoes. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Champ, do you want some? What do you think? I also think it's very good. I was getting a little bit moody there for a bit, especially on the drive over, and it's really funny because the drive over was so beautiful, but um, the van was acting up and there's a bunch of issues, and I got a new chip on my window, which really sucks, and it got me thinking and worrying about money, which always sucks. Um, so yeah, I just, uh, I, I spent like a couple hours in a coffee shop today just, just trying to sort it out. I've got new Patreon stuff, so if you're uh, not a Patreon supporter, uh, maybe you should go check it out. There's some cool perks on there. I'm trying to make the perks like worthwhile to you guys um, And then you know, you can also set your lim monthly limit to whatever you want so you don't have to worry about that going overboard, but uh, basically Yeah, I'd like to be able to do this full-time. I mean, I don't have very many subscribers But it would be nice to do just this because I like this and I can do this on a very very tight budget and I like that about this too, right? That I can live this lifestyle without spending a lot of money. <sighs> anyway, so yeah, that's it for me. I'm just uh, feeling kind of down. I needed to get out of the cold and I am feeling a lot better now. I am in the warmth. I watched a beautiful sunset. I am going to uh, get this van stuff figured out tomorrow and then, you know, the money, it will, it will happen one way or another. Either I'll go back to work or I'll keep doing this, but uh, it's really, yeah. I don't want to sound like I'm really complaining. Like, honestly, I've got a job that I can go to at any time being a photographer. I make a good amount of money doing that and I can go to it anytime I want. And that's a huge luxury. I mean, it's a luxury I paid for. I worked eight years to get to where I am right now, but um, it's a luxury that I don't for a second forget about. It is a luxury. I also have retirement savings I'll never touch that are just for retirement and I will stop making YouTube videos and go back to work long before I have to dip into that kind of money. So really I'm not like at the edge of my, my chain here, but I'm just, uh, I don't know. I just really want to do this YouTube thing full time. I have thousands of items on my bucket list and I only have so many years on this planet. So I have a lot a lot of traveling to do and being able to YouTube full-time would make that a reality and for me I think that's the current goal like if I can travel full-time see all the things I want to see then I'll do it and I'll I'll do whatever it takes to get there all right guys thanks for watching good night